hello everybody uh, hope you are all doing good uh, so today i am going to show you uh, asp.net web forms master pages and then how uh, you know you can customize it uh, so what you do is first open visual studio 2022 and then click on this uh, create a new project uh, here uh, what you do is uh, search for asp.net and you will find a uh, lot of uh, this kind of uh, selections here so what you need to do is uh, go down and here you will find uh, this particular template okay asp.net web application .net framework uh, you can create .net asp.net web forms okay so this is what we need to select so select this click on next button and here uh, give a name uh, to your uh, project so example master and then uh, give a location and here uh, you can select whatever frameworks are available in your system you can download and download and install dotnet framework 4.8 which is the latest from dotnet uh, latest uh, .NET framework version so you can select that so i have selected it here and now click on create so here you'll see a few options like this select web form uh, leave rest of the things as it is and then click on create now uh, the project has been created uh, so you can see all these files uh, so these files will appear on this uh, right hand side solution explorer mm, i have created another video on this uh, you can uh, uh, you can watch that video i'll provide i'll provide the link in the description box uh, where i talk about all these different files uh however here uh you can see site dot master okay so so the master page will also always have a dot master extension so this is our master page uh, so if you double click that you can see it is a aspx page uh basically it will have this html uh html markup inside it okay and then uh you will also have some uh, code uh, behind file so where you can write all these events okay so let's go to this uh uh this uh uh, markup page and here uh, you can see uh, that it starts with a directive called as master okay so normal aspx pages they will start with a uh, page directive okay uh, which is if let's say i go to default.aspx so here you can see it starts with a page directive but here it will start with a master directive and then the language uh, and few other properties which are set up here here the code behind is site.master.cs which is uh, this 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 is the this is the page here and uh, it inherits from example master.site master so this is my uh, project uh, uh, project name here and this is the class name okay so you can go to site.master and you can see this class name here site.master so uh, these are the things uh, on the top so this is, this is the first thing that will appear on the top and then you can see a html markup so it starts with uh, so it is a normal html like html uh, tags and then uh, header tag and then body tag uh, so in the head tag you will have meta tags then title uh, and you can see these are the dynamic things okay so you can uh, you know so whatever is inside this uh, angular brackets and percentages so that will be executed on the server side so uh, if you want to add any code here you can uh, do so uh, using this angular brackets and percentage sign and then uh, then the body starts here so body so there will be few script references for a page to run smoothly so these references will be here and then when you go down you will find the navigation uh, so uh, so by default they provide certain uh, navigation links on top like home about contact so those links will appear uh, because it is inside this uh, navigation tag here uh, then there is a content placeholder okay so here so this is the uh, this is the this is the this is where your uh, the pages which are part of your project will be rendered if you say that uh, when you create a page uh, and you want to render it within uh, master pages so you you have that option to uh, do that okay when you create a page i'll show you in a minute how you do that so once uh, that page is rendered so what will happen is whatever is in the master play page plus whatever uh, is written on your other page so both the things will be combined and shown it to you so uh, that is how uh, this is uh, rendered now 
what is the advantage of this master page so master page is something where you can uh, keep your common code okay so for example this menu right so this is a common you want it to appear in all of your pages then in that case use a uh, so use the master page write down create your own menu here and then that will appear in each and every page of your application similarly you can write other uh, things for example uh, here there is application name on that will appear on top of the page there is a footer as well which will appear in every uh, page on the bottom uh, so like this uh, you can uh, you know write some common code so that is the main advantage of uh, master page it keeps the code uh, separated clean and uh, this common code and the space specific code are kept separate so uh, for example here this default.aspx you can see this here it is mentioned as master pages site.master okay and when you run it you will see that this this uh, content and the master page content both will be uh, combined and shown in the browser okay so let's now run this project okay now uh, you can see that uh, the page has come up and if you uh, go back here to your visual studio code uh, you can see this so this is our default.aspx and this is the body okay so this is the this is this is where this is the entire content of this uh, this page and it starts with this header asp.net now if you go here you can see this is this is this is what is rendered uh, and this is the part of the default.aspx so from here uh, so from here to this learn more okay so everything is coming from the aspx page okay the default.aspx page now in the site.master uh, let's go here to this so here you can see it starts with application name so if you uh, go back here you can see this is the content of the master and also this footer that is coming up here the year and the my asp.net application this is also coming from the master page so this top two things are coming from the master this top and the bottom is coming from the uh, master page and the content which is in the middle from asp.net to learn more so this is uh, coming from the default.aspx page okay so th that is how these two things are combined and shown to the user now let's do one thing now let's uh, go and add uh, some menu item and then a, a new page so when you click on that link it will go to a redirect to a uh, new page okay so stop it and here right click add new item okay here we will select web form with master page okay this is what you need to select and uh, let's give a name to this uh, page uh, let's say it is a thank you page okay thank you add so which master page there are two master pages it detected there are two things so let's select this site dot master that is uh so we are doing a web version so site dot master is for the web uh, websites so now this is the uh, default page that is that got created what we can say uh, here is uh, let's say uh, we say thank you for watching the okay thank you for watching this video so now this is my uh, this is my example page that I have created that is coming up here. Thank you on the right side. You can see here. So now we need a link to this page. So go back to your site.master and here uh, we need to add one more link. So copy this line and then paste it here. And here you can say thank you. So that is the name of my page. And the text that will appear is thank you thank you thanks space you okay so this should appear as another link in the menu so now let's run it
Okay, now the uh, the content has been rendered. Uh, so here you can see a thank you link is coming up. So let's click this and now you can see the text uh, here. Thank you for watching this video that is coming up here. So that is how you can see this. These are the contents of the master page and this is the content from the uh, thank you page. Okay, so this is how you uh, add pages and this is how you use the master page to display uh, the common things. Okay, on your header and footer. So uh, that's it about, uh, about this video. Uh, if you have any uh, comments, uh, you can comment below and uh, do not uh, forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, please hit the like button. Thanks very much.